is Su Fujimoto from Tokyo, and uh, I'm an architect. And now I'm joining to this World Architecture Festival. Just finished uh, my keynote speech in this event. Nature and architecture is a really fundamental theme, and how to do with these opposite things. It's not just an opposite, but I like to find something yeah, in a sense, in between, so that is the, the starting point. And then, not only nature and architecture, but for example, inside, outside, or urban scales, every kind of a definition has a, such an in-between space. Especially if he, the definition is the opposite side, then the in-between space is more, how to say, rich. Good example is the Serpentine Pavilion, just finished in, in London. And it is, in a sense, it's a, in a various meaning, it is kind of in-between things. It is made by grit, but the, the shape is very soft and complex. So the experience is half nature, like a tree branches, and half, of course, super artificial things that are integrated together. And uh, I was talking about the final wooden house. It's made by the huge wooden block. And in that case, kind of a beautiful integration of the architectural elements in a various different levels. For example, the wooden blocks could be the floors or furniture or the walls. So in that house, every definition is melting together to create just a field for life. I also showed the private house in Tokyo. It's a many, many different play, uh, levels. It is uh, not like a house, but more like a soft territory, something beyond the independent house, I think. The client is a young couple, and they are really enjoying the life in that house. And it's a really a surprising collaboration between the clients and architects. The concept of the, to creating something in between is not only for the specific the smaller scale private house, but uh, I am thinking it could be developing, developed more, how to say, for example, skyscraper scales or album scales, because in any case, the definitions, for example, the high-rise building, the skyscrapers and the, the landscapings, it's opposite, but then we can find something between skyscrapers and the landscaping, and then it could be a nice challenge. So I like to expand such a the way of thinking is more and more to explore the, such a uh, pioneering or the hidden place of the, the architectural field.